James Pinkerman. Pinkerman. District 18, um, the current one. Uh, I'm for the Constitution and to me, preserving it. We've gotten, the Republican Party has been really far away from the Constitution for years. And uh, so has the Democrat Party. And uh, being for the Constitution, as I listened to the debates, both in the previous ones four years ago and the current ones, I began to realize, hey, this gentleman is being very specific about what he means when he says he backs the Constitution. He stands for gold and silver. The Constitution says no state shall make anything except gold and silver a tender in the name of the And he stands, he stands for getting rid of the problem that we're in right now with a separate uh, institution, the Federal Reserve System, putting on, creating money out of nothing and charging it to us. We're going into debt for it. He has, to me, he had specific answers. I like Mr. Romney very much. He's probably a very good, honest man and a good family man. But when you start tinkering with the Constitution, and I heard him say he did not plan to get rid of the Federal Reserve System, he wants to solve our money problems without going back to the Constitution in that particular case, I thought. And several other aspects. We have no right, no power from God or the Constitution to attack another nation without the proper declaration of war. Instead, we went into Iraq on a UN resolution, it was both said by Colin Powell and also, and also uh, the, the Vice President Cheney and Bush, number 1442, UN declaration. That's what we're in there on, not by a constitutional mandate. We are not constitutionally in war. There is no constitutional war up there. And we need to bring our troops home. And as much as I like Mr. Romney, he has not offered that. We are still going to have that around our neck, all that money to keep troops in about 130-some countries, and uh, still in the Middle East. And I do believe that people hate us there for bombing their countries. I do believe that. There are several other reasons why I agree, but Mr. Ron Paul is specific. When you ask him a question, he gives you the reason out of the Constitution exactly what he's going to do. Please identify yourself. My name is uh, Al DeChico, for the record, and um, peace, everybody. And I, was, I support Ron Paul, the only constitutionalist that is running in this election. The only man that was a veteran. My father was a veteran. He fought in World War II, Battle of the Bulge. This man does not support the National Defense Authorization Act, which allows the system to disappear. He does support the Constitution 100% and has for 30 years. This is the man that the party needs to get behind in all of America. The world has Ron Paul, he doesn't vote for it unless it's 
Article 1, Section 8 of the United States Constitution. He is a strict constitutionalist. Secure borders. He wants to bring our troops home, protect our borders. He wants uh, to end birthright citizenship. He is pro life, 100%. Woo! He is a conservative. Anyways, thank you. And Mike, down to my left. Please identify yourself. My name is Cody Whitaker. For the record, I'm from Ron Paul. However, yeah. I would like to offer time to any near Romney supporter that needs to get up and speak his mind about this and the issue of the matter of fairness. Four minutes. Come on up. Here's your mic. Now the reason I support Ron Paul is because it's extremely simple. We are a republic. The foundation of the republic is the Constitution. The Declaration of Independence. on those foundations right there. That's Ron Paul. Ron Paul! It's not about the man, it's about the message of liberty. God-given liberty. God-given rights to life. What else do we need to be fighting for here, people? What else do we need to be fighting for? It's not Ron Paul. It is about liberty and justice for all. Hi, my name is Dara Venesian, and I'm from Ron Paul. Why? Here's why. You want, I'm gonna, this is a little reality dose for a lot of people out here. You wonder why the young people are behind Ron Paul? I'm going to tell you why. A lot of Ron Paul people are very young. Why? Because it's not about the establishment. Okay? It's, this is the point. The reason that Barack Obama got the number of small votes that he got was because it was the individual who was about going against the establishment and about the banks. Look at who support, who's, whose candidates are supported by the banks. That's going to tell you who they cater to. Ron Paul is not about the banks. He's about the people. And, and as much as I hate to say this, the Republicans and Democrats have been two legs of the same monster for two yeah. years. Yeah. 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 Okay, you got two minutes left. Your time. Two minutes. Two minutes, I'll make it quick. My fellow conservatives, my name is John Laurie. I'm a veteran of the Marines and the Army. It's a pleasure to be here for you to defend our Constitution and be a conservative. I want to define what a conservative means. A conservative means to protect the founding principles of this country, which is liberty and freedom. And you are not finding it with Mitt Romney, who supports the NDAA. If you're not familiar with it, please oh! consider the NDAA. As conservatives, are we not here to ensure the individual liberties of the people and economic freedom and defend the free society as envisioned by our founding fathers and defined in our Constitution? Do not compromise. When I hear unity, I want unity around conservative principles and not compromising on them. So Do not compromise on conservative principles, my fellow conservatives. Thank you. Okay. One minute. One minute. My name is Tom Platt, and I agree with everything everybody has to say in here. I'm a Ron Paul supporter. I just want to, the Mitt Romney uh, supporters out there, I just want you all to stand up and name one significant financial cut in the government that Romney has said he's going to do. Significant. Ron Paul has said he's going to do, he, Ron Paul said he's going to cut a trillion dollars. This is all about the economy too. Romney has no plan. He has, he has no plan for, for, for cutting government. And if he does, stand up and tell us what that cut is. There is none. He's for the Federal Reserve, and he, as long as the Federal Reserve is in place, they will keep on bailing out, they'll keep on printing money to allow the wars to happen, and they, as long as the Federal Reserve is there, the, the wars will just keep on happening. And I'll, I, Hey guys, uh, I know that we all voted uh, this evening.
Arizona voted for Romney, and that's what we're here to do is to give Romney the nomination for the state of Arizona. But we also have a national delegate. We also have a national race, and I would like you guys, if you stand for what I stand for, please vote for David Guthrie in the second congressional district. Yay! Yeah! Hey, that's it. That's time.